It's 5.55, running a little bit late. Right, Jay? Right, right. It's the Sleepy Time Tea's fault. Sleepy Time Tea, the Gypsy Tea. Uh, my wife loves that crap. Tried to get some sleep last night, got a little bit too much. She poisoned us. Poisoned us with the Gypsy Tea. Bamboozled us. Yeah. It's all Sleepy Time Tea's fault. So what's the plan today, Jay? We're gonna drift and troll for Halibut. Maybe get some bonus striper. Not really after striper, but I'll take them. Never know. We could get a shark. Oh, or another ray. Shark. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. So we're getting the live bait. Live bait. I'm gonna head over to JMB, pick up the live bait again, and uh, start doing some drift spots. And see what happens. If we get bored drifting, we'll go troll and then probably drift some more. We've got options. We have options. back out here again in San Francisco Bay. Went and picked up live bait and we're drifting again here in the Berkeley Flats area. It's been a couple weeks since we were out, so we've uh, got to get out here while the action's hot. It's hot right now still. We've already picked up a few shakers, uh, a couple of halibut, I think three already, and, uh, and a uh, striper. So uh, live bait drifting is uh, kind of unique because you never know what you're going to get. You can literally get any fish that's swimming in the bay. They'll all eat these little anchovies so you do have to go through the shakers more trolling which i like doing too seems to produce to me bigger fish uh closer to being keepers if not keepers the live bait drifting you're gonna get more action but you're gotta go through the small ones of course you never trust the weather never trust an app i was calling for lighter winds and smaller uh you know tides but looks like it's pretty windy out here uh, it'll get worse as the afternoon goes. If it's your first time coming out to the bay, uh, get out early. Get over to get your bait early. Uh, find a parking spot, especially if it's hot halibut time. And, uh, you know, by about noon, one o'clock, it's going to get pretty rough. So if you're in a smaller boat, you're probably going to want to be near to where you launched about noon to one o'clock. Any later than that, it gets pretty uh, hectic for a smaller boat. Um, my uh, my buddy just took a slip. It's slippery. I'd say you're gonna get rocked and rolled out here. You, you do get tossed around a little bit. Just be prepared for that. And uh, it's best to just take your time instead of just trying to smash through. All right, we're gonna keep drifting and uh, hope we get some keepers today. We'll see.
Oh, 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 Quick tip while we're out here fishing, it's a cool point I'd like to go over. Uh, check these Scotty Orca rod holders out. If you're a drift fisherman, troller, um, even bait fishing, what they do, if you've never heard of them, is uh, they allow you to pop your rod in and out without having to fight. Like this one, when it loads up like this, normal style, you have to pull it up like this and fight it up out of the holder and stuff like that, which is really hard to do sometimes if there's a large fish on there. And there's a and he's got a lot of head jerks going on so what this allows you to do is to just grab your rod and pull it straight up out of there just like that push it back in that way if you're trolling and it loads up you just grab it and you're fighting the fish it's way easier and I highly recommend getting a set of those that time again. We need some help. We've been a still point in the day. We made a move. We're looking for some more fish though. So it's time to break out the weapon. The Venus sausage. Let me tell you, you laugh, but it works. Every time. I don't even go fishing unless I have these in the boat. You wanna talk about a banana bad luck? Try coming fishing without these. Oh gosh, I'd hate to be that guy. These saved the day. Plus they're good. Started eating these in the field when I was in the army. Got addicted. And now they bring me luck fishing. Like steak dinner in a can. Fish will be here anytime now. Don't worry. Don't let me down. You gotta shake it off a little bit. Or shake it too much. All right. Fish will be here anytime. Good old Vienna sausage. The fisherman's friend. guys well it's gonna wrap it up for us today uh it's getting pretty windy getting blown off here even over here in paradise cove it's pretty windy so we're gonna head back across the bay over to the launch and put her back on the trailer wash it down 
We did get four keeper good sized halibut today. We did get to use our drone for the first time today. Did some pretty cool shots with that and we'll continue to get better with it. Gotta tell you, it's pretty sketchy flying that thing from the boat though and bringing it back in, but I think it'll be worth it. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my channel and you like it, go ahead and subscribe if you would and then uh, I'll keep these videos coming. This may be my last halibut trip. I may do one more. Uh, but then I'm gonna move on into uh, some trout and stuff for the midsummer, and uh, probably head up to Stampede, do some coconut fishing. Like you said, I fish for everything, so stay tuned. Check out the channel. Thanks for watching. So might be a keeper. Whoa! Jesus! Deadliest catch out here for wicked tuna. Yes! Woo! Got off in the net too. Perfect release. Oh. Holy. Oh! Hold on. Remember that. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Damn. Dula. Woo. He went down bottom and didn't want to come up. That's a keeper. Don't even need a bump board. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, whoa. I think that might be my personal best there. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Damn! <laughs> you, want, you want the bat? Yeah, yeah. Bat attack. Holy crap. Night, night. That, that is the big one. He's about 29 inches. Yep, 29 inches. A bird just shit. A bird just shat, that's good luck. Just shit it on. <laughs> Sorry, <that's> good luck. <laughs> no! Oh. I get shit on, but we, get but we catch fish. Clapzilla. Woo! That's super butt. That's a good size one. Woo! Good fat butt right there. Put up a fight. Look how thick that thing is. That's meat. It's a thick butt. Just like I like them. Check that out. We, uh, we did pretty good today. Five, uh, five nice size, good and thick halibut. So all these are good quality fish. It was pretty rough out there. Got tossed around quite a bit. We uh, we stayed out. Decided to hit up the troll a little bit before we headed back in, and paid off. Four fish in about 30 minutes. One of them, almost my personal best. This thing was a beast put up a good fight but yeah sometimes it's just best to just be flexible and you know go with your gut if you feel like you should troll troll if you want to make a move make a move sometimes it pays off sometimes it doesn't but we did pretty good all right guys thanks for watching <laughs>